What's up guys, I'm at SHOT Show, and like I said before, it's not all about guns, even though there's a lot of guns here. There's some cool vehicles here as well. I'm at the US Armor booth. I got Bill here, and he's gonna tell you all about a cool bike and all the cool stuff that's on it. What's going on, man? What do you got here? Hey, good morning. Uh, Bill Turner, Redondo Beach PD. This is my partner, Matt Knott uh, from What's Redondo. We've got the uh, Honda Africa Twin Adventure Bike, 1000cc. Uh, we're a pretty fortunate department. We're right next to uh, North American Honda in the city of Torrance, so we've got a lot of connections and a lot of friends with them. So we partnered with them. We were looking for a different platform other than the Honda ST1300 to ride for enforcement. So we ended up uh, taking a look at the, their Africa Twin, especially their DCT. This is the clutchless model, fully automatic bike. And, and for the guys who don't know, I mean, the Africa Twin is kind of legendary from the 80s, right? This is an evolution of that bike? Is that what it is? Absolutely. In, in fact, it's got the bigger motor. The 80s have the smaller motor. This one's got the bigger 1,000cc motor. But ultimately, we partnered with, uh, with Honda. We partnered, obviously, with uh, US uh, Armor. We'll get to a couple things that uh, they've done for us. Changed a few things. We went with uh, some taller bars to make it a little bit easier. We've got an Axon body camera that's a forward-facing camera on it. Alt Rider made all of the uh, the cage and protection for us, um, including the uh, the rear. Um, we've got aftermarket absolutely everything. It's got aftermarket Excel rims, Talon hubs, uh, aftermarket exhaust pegs. It's got Oling uh, Oling's uh, forks uh, and Oling's uh, rear shock. Uh, this bike has the knobby tires on it, so it'll do a little bit more off-road, uh, but it can be changed out to more of a dual sport tire. Mm -hmm. A couple of the really neat things that US Armor's making on the, uh, the side bags, they custom made it for us. Um, this bike has a, a shield that deploys, so it'll uh, be kind of like a plate carrier mm -hmm. that'll deploy in the event that you have uh, any immediate use for it. Uh, That's awesome. That folds up, uh, it's, a, it's a level 3A, just like body armor, uh, but it's yeah, it's gonna hurt a little bit if uh, it takes a round, but it's yeah. also better, you'll, you'll much be better alive. than a hole. Yeah, you'll much be better than a hole. The part. They came up with another option on the other side, uh, which is more of a, uh, hey, call it kind of a tactical blanket, if you will, but it's a uh, another shield that rolls out. That is cool. That can be used in a couple different applications if you're in a uh, active shooter and you uh, need a shield, mm -hmm. if you uh, need some sort of uh, arrest or rescue. Um, it's got handles built on it so they can actually uh, be used as a kind of a blanket to carry somebody out if needed. Or it actually uh, connects in the bike, connects up on the uh, front handlebar in the event that you get stuck in a bad situation and uh, you're taking any type of rounds. Uh, you can get behind it and cross your fingers. So a basically, bit. it's like field expedient cover. You just put that up on the bike, and you can take cover behind your bike. That's awesome. We carry all uh, AR-15s on our bike, so Huntington Honda kind of changed the rack that they've got uh, on it. Uh, so this bike is uh, it's ready for patrol. Nice, nice. And then what's all this extra gear too? Uh, obviously is, you have uh, medical stuff going on. Yeah, well. this is obviously just a, a, a small tack med bag mm -hmm. uh, with your basics, your tourniquet and a couple other applications. This is more just for holding uh, stuff that you're going to need to use out in the field because the bags are, uh, they're a little limited once you put the uh, the armor on them, they're a little bit limited. Right. So, sight book and a couple other things uh, in here. I like your license plate by the way. <laughs> it's ticket time, baby. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what are we looking at here in the front? Is that just another? That's just of another one of these okay, bags. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, U.S. Gotcha. Armor's making uh, very cool, some really neat stuff. They came. U.S. Armor came up with some great uh, stuff for this. Uh, in fact, law enforcement-wise, there's kind of not not a whole lot of excuses that something simple like that yeah. isn't actually used in every car. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the times guys have to go. Oh, my agency doesn't have something like that. Mm -hmm. I got to wait for a sergeant to get there. Yeah. You know what's nice is uh, the motors guys aren't left out. I mean, you guys are pretty much on par with uh, protection wise you got a lot of gear a lot of gear just like the guys on the in the vehicles in the yep. patrol cars that's nice very cool so on the uh, u.s armor side uh, if guys want to order this like if cops watching this video is there a website they can go to yeah uh, want to check out just u.s, US armor? armor they're out of uh, santa fe california there you go Cool. All right, so uh, any social media we can follow you guys? Absolutely. Follow uh, Redondo Beach uh, PD on Instagram and uh, also our big partner with this Roland Sands Designs. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't even mention this is our Roland Sands uh, bike. It says right there, RSD. Cool.